Hey everyone, Morgan here. So before I get started uh, with the topic of this video, which this video actually has to do with Florence, but um, Hurricane Florence is well underway, you know, winds of 100 miles per hour. I mean, I've been getting updates um, on my phone a lot uh, out throughout the day, you know, absolute flooding, you know, it's, it's really hitting hard right now. So I just wanna say to everyone, please remain safe and um, do the best you can to, to ride this out. So I hope, you know, everyone just remains safe. So I've seen a couple things today that have actually prompted this video. I wasn't gonna do this video today, I was gonna do something else. But I decided to do this video because um, I saw an Instagram image that um, was talking about don't leave your pets behind. And then I saw an article pop up that said, what do you do with your pets in <laughs> you know, a natural disaster scenario? Well, for us, it's kind of like, uh, well, duh, I'm gonna take my pets because our pets aren't just things that we leave behind. You know, they're not things. I will leave things in my house. I will leave a lamp. I don't care about a lamp, okay? Um, I will leave insignificant items. My pets are not insignificant items. So um, I'm not going to leave them. I've never really understood why people would leave their pets um, in any sort of disaster scenario. I think one of the main reasons they do it is because they don't have any sort of plan for the pets. They don't like they're evacuating and let's say the bus that they're getting on says no pets. Well, you could have planned ahead and um, called around to see if there was gonna be any shelter options that could take in your pets, you know, or whatever the case may be. But, um, you know, if for whatever reason you can't take your pets, you have to have some sort of plan for them. You have to put them somewhere they, it's where somebody can actually take care of them. You have to make sure that they have all of their leashes and collars, the microchips, you know. Um, you have to make sure that they're in some sort of carrier if that's gonna work best for you, like, you know, um, skittish dogs, cats, um, other types of animals, you know, carriers are gonna be best. Um, you can contact your local government and like, let's say you don't have a car and you do have to take a bus or something to evacuate. Um, contact your local government and ask them if uh, there's any transportation options uh, for pets during a disaster. They will know, somebody will know. Uh, contact your local vets, uh, contact somebody. Somebody will know, um, you know what, they, what you can do with your pets. Do not leave them. Pets are domesticated animals. They aren't wild animals who can just ride out the storm. They will not just ride out the storm. Your period, your pets should not be left behind. They are not things that you should just leave behind. If you have a pet, you are responsible for that pet and therefore uh, you must do something with those animals. Um, you know, take them with you, put them in a shelter, do something with them and make sure that they're gonna be safe along with you being safe. Something that could make your life a lot easier is to make um, each pet a disaster kit, you know, with food, water, their leashes, their collars, you know, if they don't already wear their collars, um, uh, you know, their vaccinations um, and whatever else they need, you know, for at least a couple weeks. If you have to board your animal, make sure to leave any instructions inside that kit, such as, you know, any medications that they take, when, you know, they eat, um, any known allergies, behavior problems, things like that. By creating this disaster kit and making them part of your plan, all together, you know, um, you're gonna be a lot more relieved to take them when the time comes because you already know what's gonna happen. You say, okay, I'm gonna shelter them in this place that I know is gonna be safe, you know, or, okay, I'm gonna take them or my neighbor um, is able to take them, whatever the case may be, okay? Um, if you are evacuating, your pets must evacuate with you. I know there's probably gonna be a lot of keyboard warriors that are like, nah, I'm just gonna leave my pet. My pet's not worth it to me. Nah, I'm just gonna eat my pet when I get back. <sighs> I mean, I, you shouldn't even be owning a pet to begin with. So that's it. Basically, if you have a pet, make sure they're part of your emergency disaster plan. Make sure that they have a, an emergency disaster kit and make sure you know um, where they are going to go if you have to evacuate, whether they're gonna go with you, the veterinarian, a shelter, you know, um, wherever. Uh, so yeah, just uh, plan it out and you'll feel a lot better. Your pets are part of your emergency disaster plans always. Thank you all so much for watching. Conquer Tomorrow by preparing today. And again, uh, best wishes and please stay safe to everyone uh, being affected by Hurricane Florence. Talk to y'all tomorrow.